Local chef Mike Baldwin is here from Testabara. He's here to show us at Local 4 how to make our own pasta. Yeah, they make a lot of pasta from scratch daily. And as you guys can see, we're about to get hands on. Let's get your right name again, right though, right too. Now. Chef Gabriella. Chef oh. Gabriella. Hello. Let's not forget. Uh, chef Gabriella, <laughs> Chef Mike. Okay, what are we doing here today? All right, so we're going to make a couple different kinds of shapes of pasta. Okay. Um, we make fresh pasta at both of our restaurants. Oh, yeah. And uh, we've been doing it for a long time together. What's the trick? Um, you well, know what? Love, Practice. A little love, fighting. I love that. You need some passion <laughs> yeah. in your pasta. There's a lot of uh, passion in Italian cooking. Um, but great flour, you know, we use durum. That's where that nice yellow hue comes along with the egg yolk. Okay. So it makes for a nice silky al dente tooth. And yeah. if you want, grab sure. a little bit of that flour. Oh, the flour? Just kind of, okay. just take a little pinch, like uh, the gladiator. Okay. I think salt bay. Salt bay. <laughs> okay. Whoever you want to channel. Where is and that? We're going to fold this over <laughs> oh, like so. Okay. Well, hold on. I don't know if that's flour. I think that's oh, cheese. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's flour. No, that. What? Is this flour? Oh, that's right? flour. Yep, both flour. But never mind, never mind. You're right, you're right, you're right. Totally not cheese. Where do you want me to sprinkle? <laughs> okay, go ahead and sprinkle on the raviolis that I have over here, right here. Okay. I'll, I'll you do that. Okay. Cool. Ooh. And on now, those? yep. Okay. Sweet. Want a little bit up here? Yep. And basically, so now we're going to take our pinkies. Okay, let's take our pinkies. And just kind of, kind of cup that and make a little pocket for that ravioli. So oh, go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Here, Victor, you try that one. Yeah, over. let's see what we can do here. Okay. And that, you guys are pros. Yeah, pasta making is something for everybody, you know. Um, also, it takes a lot of practice, but you know, oh, you mess up. Good. Yeah. Pretty yeah, sweet. you mess up, it's okay. Right. Make another one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. and the, the biggest thing is to really cup that tightly, and just like you did. You guys did a so great job there. And now um, we're going to so cut it. So it doesn't explode. You're, you're try. I think you're eager. I'm just going to demo <laughs> one here. I know, I can you tell. Here, let's switch sides. This is cool. Okay. All right. So oh, you my try. gosh. While they're doing that, I'm okay. making these adorable little tiny pumpkin capoletti. Aww. So, of course, we're going to do um, the pumpkin <laughs> wave, the pumpkin craze. Okay. Um, not in the same way that you're going to get at Starbucks. So, we whipped uh, pumpkin puree with fresh roasted pumpkins, um, some of the seeds, some mascarpone and spices. And I'm making these little tiny capoletti. And these are native to, like, the Emilia Romana region. Okay. So Every oh, pasta, every sauce, every ravioli has a purpose as to where it's from hmm. in Italy. Um, so these little guys. So what was the purpose of this one then? Where the so these are, from? they're like the size of quail eggs. They're a million okay. um, towards northern Italy. And um, they're just a great appetizer. They look so, so cute. Aren't they so cute? They're adorable. <laughs> okay, thank you, Priya. Yes. And so, so I only do either really big, here's a gigante, <laughs> or really <laughs> tiny. So I like that, okay. This other ravioli, oh, go ahead. I just wanted to ask how long it took you guys to even learn Oh my gosh, we've been cooking together for about, I don't know, honey, about 12 11, years. 12 years. Wow, who's so, counting? So, yeah, and we have a restaurant, baby, uh, Testa Barra, that's been alive for seven years. Oh, I like so, it. I gotta eat a little bit here. Okay. Lots of practice there. there this one I'm making here is called a scarpin oak. So say that with me, scarpin oak. Scarpin oak. And these ones are sealed individually. Yeah. They're made on special occasions. Mm. And I'm gonna show you how to do these ones right now. Okay. So, Basically, we're going to start with a little pinch okay. on each side. So go ahead and follow okay, me. A little pinch. And p pinch and press. Oh, Vic, do you want to try one? Give me one. I got to get in there. Oh, you yeah. Get in on that Mazaluna action. Pinch and press. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go just a little dot in the middle there. That's the funnest part. It's so funky. Holds yeah. the sauce nice. Yeah, it does. Cool. And so we serve different. all types of fresh pasta at our restaurant. As okay. you can see, we have uh, Malfadini here. This is a bubble flour. That's the end result of the Mazzaluna ravioli as an Ooh. appetizer with squash and uh, brown mm. butter and basil. Great time of year um, for that, too. Great time of year. This is one of my favorite appetizers, so don't sleep on the ravioli app when no, you go to no, Tessabara. No. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and we're we're actively um, we're gonna have Victor. great pasta uh, options for a sweetest day next Saturday. Please nice. try. So um, yeah, we gotta eat. You guys are gotta you guys eat. Are pros. Yeah. We're like, manja, right. manja. If, 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 if you is. if we leave and you're hungry, there's a big problem. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. <laughs> this cool. is so good. Okay, guys, you, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We love making pasta. Yay! Look at that, so mm. cute. Isn't it fun? You guys are great. Look at, look at them. That's okay. great. Okay. <laughs> guys, have a great day. Thank you both. Thank you. Absolutely. Cheers.